It was heated joy at St. John's Church Kamosha as Christians welcomed the Archbishop of the Church of Uganda, the Most Reverend Stephen Kazimba Mugalu. He was on a pastoral visit to the church and attended all services. <laughs> In his sermon, the Archbishop preached the benefits of fearing the Lord, which means to be in reverent awe of His Holiness, to give Him complete reverence and honor Him as the God of great glory. Today we are talking about the uh, benefits of fearing the Lord. When we fear the Lord, what do we benefit? What do you gain? Do we have anything out of that? Actually, fearing of the Lord refers to uh, respecting and uh, obeying him. That is it. His Grace Dr. Stephen Kazimba urged parents to teach their children about the Bible, noting that if we don't teach our children to follow Christ, the world will teach them not to. He then urged those who have not bought Bibles for their children to do so. We have the children who are baptized. Teach them scriptures. Teach them. Grew them in God's word. You know, the children are going back to school and everybody is trying to ensure they have what, whatever it takes. But you may, I have found some challenges you ask in homes. Is this child having a Bible? Ah, by the way, what you know, Bible is Bibles are expensive. While concluding, His Grace Dr. Kazimba called unto those who wish to reaffirm their faith and many souls were drawn to Christ. Today, I want to make it so open. That Jesus, my Savior, move slowly here. We pray for you and then we continue. May God's blessings rest upon you. Today, I have accepted you as a personal Savior and Lord. Amen. The Provincial Fathers Union President Samuel Eva Kutana, who was in attendance, expressed his joy over the visit and recounted some of the Archbishop's teachings. He had a wonderful time as he preached the gospel about the fear of God and its benefits, the importance of fearing the Lord so that we can be endowed with great wisdom, with great knowledge, with great understanding, with prosperity, wealth and preservation of life. So it was awesome and we thank him for coming and being with us. Let's continue to fear the Lord and we will reap all the benefits thereof. Samuel Eva Kutana and family during the service performed a thanksgiving to thank the Lord for what he has done to him and family. I'm just inviting all of you always to give, uh, to give thanks to God. We were giving thanks for many reasons. Over the years, the Lord has been so good to us. We were giving thanks for the education of our children and ourselves. We have progressed at different levels in, uh, in education. We were giving thanks for our businesses and our work. And for his provision, we have not lacked as a family. God has provided for us. And we encourage you who is viewing today uh, Church of Uganda Family TV to be among those few who remember and they come back to say thank you, Lord, for the things that you have done for me. The excitement at St. John's Kamocha was unmatched while speaking to Church of Uganda Family TV. The head of Lighty, Mrs. Robin Abajire, says it is a culture to dance, sing, and pray at the church. This Sunday, I'm privileged to host the Archbishop, the Right Reverend, Dr. Samuel Stephen Kazimba Mugalu. When you come to St. John's Church, you will dance, you will dance, you will jump, you will sing. It is good to obey God, to love God and serve God because you will be blessed, you will live longer, you will be protected and you will get peaceful prosperity. St. John's Kamocha was consecrated on 18th December 1977 by the Most Reverend Sylvanas Goiwani under the Diocese of Kampala. Luke Alinaitwe, Church of Uganda Family TV, News at 8.